Hello, uh, my name is Jonathan and I'm trying to make a game. I'm from Sweden, so excuse my weird accent and poor English. I want to show you the game I am working on. I haven't a real name for it yet, but I am calling it King of Pirates for now. I actually googled the name and saw that there were some other games called the same thing, so this name won't stick to the final version. Uh, if you have any suggestion for a name after seeing this video, feel free to tweet me. So, uh, this game will be a multiplayer online game, and it borrows concepts from Final Fantasy and Pokemon so far, and it will take place in a world of pirates. It will be released for PC and Mac, and it will be free to play. Uh, the game will center around your crew of pirates, which are these fellows here, in the middle of the screen. Uh, you can have up to five members in your crew, and you control all of them. As you can see, there is one character in uh, the middle, which is the captain of the crew. There is not much difference at the moment between the captain and the others, except the hat. Uh, at first I thought of having a main character with an ex escort, but then I thought that it would be more fun if all your characters are equally important. This means that they are all can carry equipment, and if you, your captain dies in a battle, the team can still continue the fight. So if, if I move around a bit, you can see that all members of the crew follow the captain. I was inspired by Zelda, A Link to the Past. I just loved how the princess followed Link around after rescuing her from the first castle. I thought it looked really cute. But these fellows aren't cute. They are mean pirates. If I stop moving for a bit and wait... Wait a little bit more... They will all teleport back around the captain. The main purpose of that is because when there are many players walking around with their crews and standing in towns, it will look a bit crazy with all these pirates scattered all over the place. When standing like this, you can more easily see which creatures are in the same team. And it also looks a bit like they are protecting their captain. And when I start moving again, they go back to the last position. Next we have the crew window, where info about the crewmates is shown. In this view you can get a good overview of the most important stats like health, mana, status effects, etc. You can browse through them with the arrow keys like this. At first I planned to incorporate a mouse, but as I progressed with the game I felt it kinda useless. This game could as, as easily be played with a gamepad. These are not all the stats. If you select one of the crew members a new screen is shown and now you get all the stats and information about the, that creature. You have the primary stats over here, like strength, magic, etc. Equipment over here, and then abilities and resistance down here, that I haven't implemented yet. All your crew members have their own equipment, and you can change them by selecting a type and browsing in your inventory. Due to all the different looks of creatures, it is hard to make equipment that fits all of them, so I've decided that only the helmet and weapon will be shown but the other equipment will still affect the stats. So, I can start by equipping this fellow. When I'm done, I can change crew member by simply pressing left or right. Last thing I can show you for this version is how the battle screen looks. By the way, these monsters are being moved on the server right now, so that part of the networking works. If I attack this blob now, it will take me to the battle screen. I will do some nice transition later on. Here you can see your crew on the right and the enemies on the left. Below you can see their names and the timer that fills up over time. The speed will depend on the creature's stats. When a monster's time bar is filled up, it will attack your crew. This will happen automatically. When one of your time bars are filled up, you are prompted to select that character. You can choose freely between the creatures that are ready. If I select this one here, a menu will come up. For now, there is just attack, and later on I will implement use items, abilities, etc. Uh, but if I choose attack, you can see the character attacking the enemy. That is all I want to show for now. If you're interested in this game project, you can follow me on Twitter at Skullbox Labs. Thank you for watching.